Hello, my name is Daniel, and today we will be going through the AMC 12A from the year 2007, so let's get started. First problem, one ticket to a show costs $20 at full price, Susan buys 4 tickets using a coupon that gives her a 25% discount, Pam buys 5 tickets using a coupon that gives her a 30% discount, how many more dollars does Pam pay than Susan? Okay, so um, it, it costs $20 at full price, so Susan, um, Susan, she buys 4 times 20, so times, and then 25% discount, so that's 75%, which is 3 over 4, this is paying $60, and for Pam, um, this is buys 5 tickets, so 5 times 20, and times 30% discount, so that's 7 over 10, right? So this is equal to 5 times 2 times 7, which is $70, 70 bucks. And so she pays 10 more dollars, the answer is 10, it's C. Number two, an aquarium has a, a rectangular base that measures 100 centimeters by 40 centimeters and has a height of 50 centimeters. It is filled with water to a height of to a height of 40 centimeters. A brick with a rectangular base that measures 40 centimeters by 20 centimeters and a height of 10 centimeters is placed in the aquarium. By how many centimeters does the water rise? Okay, so um, since this just acts, how much did the water level rise? And then the height of the water and the aquarium that doesn't matter. And so, um, let's just look at the base. Base is 100 times 40, right? This is 4,000 um, square centimeters. And then the volume, the volume of the brick is 40 times 20 times 10, which equals 8,000 cubic centimeters. And so the height is 8,000 over 4,000, which is two. So two is the answer, it's D. Number three, um, the larger of two consecutive odd, int odd integers is three times the smaller, what's their sum? Okay, so we have A and we have A plus two, and this is three times of this, so this is three A equals A plus two, therefore A equals one, their sum is one plus three, which is four, it's A. Number four, Kate rode her bicycle for 30 minutes at a speed of 16 miles per hour, then walked for 90 minutes at a speed of 4 miles per hour. What was her, what was her overall average, average speed in miles per hour? So the distance that she traveled is 16 miles per hour times half hour, plus 4 miles per hour times 3 over 2 hours. That equals 8 miles, right? And then she walked for 30 minutes and 90 minutes, so that's 2 hour, hours in total. Sorry, sorry, this is 8 plus 6. This is 8 plus 6, which is 14 miles. Um, and then she... she um, went for for two hours, 14 miles over two hours. This is gonna equal to seven miles per hour. So seven is the answer, it's A. Number five, last year, Mr. John Q. Public received an inheritance. He paid 20% in federal taxes on the inheritance and paid 10% of what he had left in state taxes. He paid a total of $10,500 for both taxes. How many dollars was in, what's his inheritance? Right, okay, so let's first look at the federal taxes. Um, if we say his inheritance was X dollars, then the federal taxes were X times one over five because that's 50, because that's 20%. And then plus what he had left, which is four over five X times 10% of that, right? So this is times one over 10. This is gonna be equal to 10,500, right? And so if we um, um, add those two together, then this is gonna be five X plus two X. So that's seven X over 25. And this is gonna be equal to 10,500, right? So seven X equals 25 times 10500. So X is equal to 25 times this divided by seven, which is 1500, which is $3,700, So this is the answer, it's D. Number six, triangles A, B, C, and A, D, C are isosceles with A, B equals B, C and A, D equals, equals D, C. Point D is inside triangle A, B, C and A, B, C measures 40 degrees and angle A, D, C measures 140 degrees. Where's the degree measure of angle B, A, D? Okay, so if we bring out a diagram of this, then um, this would be the triangle. So we'll have triangles like A, wrong color, A, B, C, A, B, C, and then this would this point would be D, right? Um, And then... Since they, they are both isosceles, these two are equal, these two are equal, right? Um, and so that will give us the distance from B all the way down uh, um, through D to the, mid, to the midpoint of AC, right? So this is a right angle, and so th these angles are going to be bisected, right? Um, and so um, since ABC, the, the whole thing is 40 degrees, that means this half thing is 20 degrees. Um, and since ADC is 140 degrees, so this is 140, that means this much is 140 divided by 2, which is 70 degrees, right? And so since we know that this angle plus this angle is equal to this angle, right? Then, um, yeah, then we can know this angle as 70 degrees minus 20 degrees. And this is going to be equal to 50 degrees, right? So the answer is 50 degrees. It's D. 
Uh, number seven, let A, B, C, D, and E be five consecutive terms in an or in yeah in an or arithmetic sequence, and, and suppose that A plus B plus C plus D plus E equals thirty. Which of A, B, C, D, or E can be found? Right. So we know that the middle number is the is the mean is the mean of all all numbers in an arithmetic arithmetic sequence, and obviously it needs to have an odd number of terms, and so that means you know C as the mean of all the terms right um, and so c is, is c is equal to six so c can be found it's c number eight a star polygon is drawn on a clock face by drawing a chord from each number to the fifth number counterclockwise from that number that is chords are drawn from 12 to 5 from 5 to 10 from 10 to 3 and so on ending back at 12. what is the green measure of the angle at each vertex in the star polygon okay so if we bring out a dodecagon that's a like 12 polygon 12 sided polygon um so we're gonna have this is 12 and then we're gonna have one two three four five this is five right um and so this is 10 and 10 to 3 and so on right and so our lines are going to be from here to five and from five to 10 like like that right from 10 to 3 now we can see that the angle at each vertex they're all the same it's just this angle right and so let's um focus on this angle right and then this is if you look at the um circle if you draw a circle that um contains this right that is uh, um yeah that has the same center as that that is cons that is concentric with that right then it's gonna be something like this and then this will be a little larger right and so the circle is going to be a little larger if we look at the circle then yeah that's going to be like that, right? Um, so, and then it's going to move a little bit closer. Yeah, and that fits it, right? Okay, so, so I'm um, here. We see that the um center of the clock face, right? The center of the clock face, that is this point, right? We also know that this length. That is equal to this length and this length, right? And so we see that this is an, an equilateral triangle. This is 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees, and this is also 60 degrees, right? Since that's the center of the circle, that means this angle, that is half of this, so that is 1 half times 60 degrees equals 30 degrees. So this is the answer, it's 30 degrees, it's C. Number nine, Yan is somewhere between his home and the stadium. To get to the stadium, he can walk walk directly to the stadium, or else he can walk home and then ride his bicycle to the stadium. He rides seven times as fast he walks, and both choices re require the same amount of time. What is the ratio of Yan's distance from his home to his distance from the stadium? Okay, so let's say that um, this is the whole distance. This is home, and this is home, and this is the stadium, right? And Yan is um, somewhere, somewhere here, right? So this is where Yan is. Let's say he has to go A miles back to home, and then he has to go B miles back to home, right? Um, and so let's set the rates first. Um, walks he walks at yeah. He, let's say he walks at one mile per hour, one mile per hour, and then bikes, uh, bikes at seven miles per hour, right? Because that means he rides seven times as fast as he walks. And so if he just decides to walk, that will take him B hours. And then if he decides to go back and bike. Um, that will take him a hours to go back plus a plus b over seven right a plus b over seven hours to um get to the stadium and so um since these two are equal b equals a plus b equals a plus a plus b over seven so b minus a times seven equals a plus b so 6b equals 8a, 3b equals 4a. That means a is 3, b is 4, right? So that's our ratio. And the ratio of Yang's distance from his home to distance from the stadium, that is going to be a over b, which is equal to 3 over 4. So this is the answer, it's b. Number 10, a triangle with, with, with side lengths in the ratio 3 to 4 to 5 is inscribed in a circle with radius 3. What is the area of the triangle? Okay, so um, we have a triangle. Um, like this, this is a 3 to 4 to 5 right triangle, this is 3, 4, 5, right? Um, and then it's inscribed in a triangle with radius 3, that means um, the circle that contains this. Um, I don't draw a very good circle, but... So the circle that that contains this, this is going to 
have that circle, then it's going to have a radius of three. That means its diameter is going to be six, right? So diameter is six, um, and we want the area of, of the triangle. And since we know that the ratio of the areas are five, three, and four, four, then we can get the get the lengths of these two, um, two legs, right? And so the um, lengths, other lengths, are going to be six times. Um, 3 over 5, that's this one, um, and 6 times 4 over 5, that's this one, right? So this is going to be 18 over 5 and 24 over 5, right? Um, and so this is going to be 1 half times 5 over 18, sorry, 18 over 5 times 24 over 5. So this is going is going to equal all over 50, so it's 432 over 50, and we want um, this in decimals, so this is going to be equal to 864 over 100, which is equal to 8.64, 8.64, this is our answer, it's 8. Number 11, a finite sequence of three digit integers has the property that the tens and units digit of each term are respectively the, hun the hundreds and tens digits of the next term and that the tens and, and units digits of the last term are respectively the hundreds and tens digits of the first term. For example, such a sequence might, might begin with the terms 2474755756 and end with the term 824. Let s be the sum of all the terms in the sequence, or is the largest prime factor that always divides s? Okay, so if we say that our integers are like a, b, c, right, then, then the next one will be b, c, d, c, d, e, c, d, e, d, e, f, and so forth, right, all the way to something, 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 a, and something, something, a, b. And now if you see, adding this up all together, then that gives us these three c's, these three d's, three e's, three f's, all the way to three a's and three b's, right? And so we are going to have three of everything all in with one in the hundreds place, one in the tens place, and one in the ones place. So this is all going to be all going to be multiples of of one one one, right? And so since one 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 equals three times thirty seven, um that means thirty seven is the largest prime factor that always divides S. The answer is D. Number 12, integers a, b, c, d, not necessarily distinct, are chosen independently and random from 0 to 2007 inclusive. What is the probability that a, d minus b, c is even? Okay, so for a, d minus b, c to be even, we need a, d, a, d is odd, and um, b, c is odd, right? b, c is odd, or a, d is even, and b, d is, and b, c is even. And so if AD is odd and BC is odd, right, then um, this will give us, for AD to be odd, we have 1 over 2 squared, right, that's half squared, so that's 1 over 4 times 1 over 4, because that's the same for BC, this is 1 over 16, um, and then for AD to be even, this is 1 minus 1 over 4, right, so that's 3 over 4 times 3 over 4, the answer is... 9 over 16, right? And so we have to add these together. This gives us 10 over 16, the um, which is 5 over 8, right? And so this is our answer, 5 over 8, it's E. Number 13, a pile of cheese is located at 12, 10 on a coordinate plane. A mouse is at um, 4, negative 2 and is running up the line y equals negative 5x plus 18. At the point a, b, the, mar the, um, the mouse starts getting farther from the cheese ra ra rather than closer to it. What is a plus b? Okay, so um, if we just have a grid here, like that, right? Um, no, not this one. We'll have a much larger grid, this one, right? Um, and so let's say that um, our axes are right here. Yeah, right there. And we'll have one right about here, right? Like that. And so 12, 10, 12, 10 is going to be... Um, right here, this is 12, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So that point's going to be 12, 10, this is 12, 10. Um, and the mouse is at 4, negative 2, so it's at this point, 4, negative 2, um, like that. And then it's running up the line y equals minus 5x plus 18, um, and so that line would be minus 5x plus 18, so it's going to be um, starting from here, and then it's going to go like that, and then forever like that, right? Um, Yes, that will be it. Um, and then at the point A, comma, B, the mouse starts getting farther from the cheese rather than closer to it. And what this means is that the um, closest point on this line um, to, to 12, comma, 10, 12, comma, 10 is A, comma, B, right? To find that point, we are going to have to draw a norm normal line from 12, comma, 10 to this orange line, right? So if we draw a normal line, then that's going to be 
um, like that, right? And so it's going to meet right there. And this meeting point, that that's a comma b. That's where you, that's where we want. So it's this point. This is two comma ten, right? Sorry, that's two comma eight. If you see, this is eight. This is two comma eight. And so our um, final answer is two plus eight, which is ten. So this is our answer. It's b. Number fourteen. Let a, b, c, d, and e be the distinct integers such that this equals forty five. What is a plus b plus c plus d plus e? Okay, so first we can split 45 into 1 times 5 times 9. And then since this has to be uh, um, 5 integers, that means this can be, this has to be 1 times 1 times 3 times 3 times 5. But then since they have to be distinct integers, right, um, then they have to be 1, 1 times negative 1 times 3 times negative 3 times 5. And that's the only way um, that a, b, c, d, and e can be chosen, right? And so for a, b, c, d, and e values, we can get if 6 minus a equals 1, that means a equals 5, right? Sorry, um, 6 minus 7, yeah, sorry, 6 minus 5 e equals 1, so a e equals 5, right? Um, but then since these are just uh, randomly assigned to anything, that means um, this sum, uh, sum stays constant, but um, the actual a and b values, they don't really matter, right? So let's just write the values out. a, b, c, d, e, these are going to be... 5 and then 7 right and then 6 minus 3 so it's 3 and then 9 and then 1 right um so this is going to be having a sum of sum of 25 right so this is 25 um so this is the answer it's c number 15 the set 3 6 9 10 is is augmented by a fifth element n not equal to any of the other four the median of the resulting set is equal to its mean what is the sum of all possible values of n okay so since we know that the mean um, is 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 10, that's 28, so it's 28 plus n over 5, right? n can go anywhere here, um, um, but then the median differs by whether n is between here or here or here, right? And so it's, yeah, so it varies if n is less than 6 or n is between 6 and 9 or if n is greater than 9, right? And so if n is less than 6, then the median is 6, so 6 equals 28 plus n over 5, that means n equals 2, right? And then for this one, it's n. So n equals 5 um, under 28 plus n. So 5n equals 28 plus n. 4n equals 28. n equals 7, right? And then 4n is greater than 9. Um, that gives us 9 equals 28 plus n over 5. That means, 40, for, that, yeah, that means 45 equals 28 plus n so that means n equals 17 right and so n equals 2 7 and 17 so the sum of these values is 26 so that's the answer it's e number 16 how many three digit numbers are composed of three distinct digits such that one digit is the average of the other two and let's say that the average digit if the average digit is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 or 9 right um, and so let's see if the average digit is 1, then we can only have one set of numbers for the remaining two numbers, and that is 0 and 2, right? Um, and 1, 1 is not possible because they have to be three distinct digits, right? And so we have 0, 2 only, and then for 2, we have 0, 4, and 1, 3. For 3, we have 0, 6, um, 1, 5, 2, 4, right? Um, since we can't do 3, 3. And for 4, we have 0, 8, um, 1, 7, 2, 6, and 3, 5. Um, for 5, we have um, no more zeros, right? Because that's going to be just 0, 10, which, which doesn't make sense. So that's going to be 1, 9, um, 2, 8, yeah, 1, 9, 2, 8, 3, 7, 4, 6, and then 3, 9, yeah, 6 is 3, 9, um, 4, 8, 5, 7, right? 5, 7. And then for 7, it's going to be 5, 9, and 6, 8. And then for 8, it's going to be 7, 9, right? 7, 9. For 9, um, we can only have 9, 9, but then we can't have distinct digits, so that's out. So we can't have 9 at all, right? We can't have 9 at all in there. And so if we look, these have zeros in them, so this is just, yeah, so this is going to be just four possibilities. Um, and then we have four such numbers, that means it is 4 times 4, which is 16, right? Um, and then all the rest, um, this is 3 factorial, which is 2 times 1 times 3, 3 factorial times um and then we have 16 numbers here so that's 16 this is going to be equal to 6 times 16 right and so we have to 
add these two values together. So 16 plus 6 times 16 equals 7 times 16. Um, and so this is going to go to equal 112. So this is the answer. It's C. Number 17, suppose that sine A plus sine B equals roots 5 over 3 and cosine A plus cosine B equals 1. What is cosine A minus B? So since we want um, cosine A minus B, um, that is equal to cosine A cosine B plus sine A sine B, right? Um, and so this is going to be equal to 1 half times cosine A plus cosine B squared cosine B squared minus um, cosine squared a minus cosine squared b minus cosine squared b right um, and then plus one over two um, sine a plus sine b sine a plus sine b squared minus sine squared a minus sine squared b right um, and so this is going to give us one half times one minus cosine squared a one minus cosine squared a minus cosine squared b plus plus 5 over 3 plus 5 over 3 minus sine squared a um, minus sine squared b right because um, this much is going to be this and this is 1 right so that's yeah so that's what we're going to get and so now we can get those get those to get get those two together and get these two together and so they'll be just 1 right so this is going to be equal to 1 half times 1 plus and then this much 5 over 3 um, and then these two, um, the orange ones together, that's going to be minus 1. And the green ones, they're also going to be minus 1, right? So this is 1 half times 2 over 3, 2 over 3. This is 1 over 3, right? And so this is the answer. It's B. Number 18, the polynomial fx equals x to the fourth power plus, a, plus ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus t has real, real coefficients. And f2i equals f2 plus i equals 0. What is a plus b plus c plus d? Okay, so first... Since we know that 2i and 2 plus i, those are the roots of f, right? That means their, their um, what is it? Their complex conjugates are also roots, right? Um, and so that means um, there are going to be roots of negative 2i and 2 minus i, right? So those are, are also going to be roots. So since we have all four of our roots, then we can just write the fx expression. So that's just going to be x minus 2i, x plus 2i x minus 2 plus i yeah and then x minus 2 minus i right so this is going to be x squared plus 4 times and then this is x minus 2 squared x minus 2 yeah x minus 2 squared minus sorry plus 1 this is going to be x squared minus plus 4 times x squared minus 4x plus 5 which is equal to x to the fourth power minus 4x cubed plus 9x squared minus 16x plus 20. And so this is going to be equal to a plus b plus c plus d. Um, so, yeah, so this is a, this is b, this is c, and this is d. And so if we um, add them all up, this is going to be equal to minus 4, minus 4, plus 9, minus 16, plus 20. And this is going to be equal to 9, right? So... This is our final answer, it's D. Number 19, triangles ABC and ADE have areas 2007 and 7002 respectively, with B equals 0, 0, C equals 223,0, D equals 680,380, and E equals 689,389. What is the sum of all possible x coordinates of A? Yeah, since the distance between B and C is 223, and 2007, this is, yeah, um, 2007, this is 223 times 9, right, 7,002, right, 7,002, that's this one, that is equal to, to um, 9 root 2, times 389 root 2, and so um, um, if we draw a diagram of this, um, then it's going to look like this, right, so we have B and C here, and we have D and E here, right, um, and this length is 223, and this length is 9 root 2, right, um, and then what are these lines, you ask, um, but then, um, yeah, so those lines are the lines for um, inside which the a is possible right so a can be on this line or, or on that line because it has to satisfy this one um that means that this has to be 18 and this has to be 18 also um, and the same thing for the blue lines right um so since this is 9 root 2 and then the 7002 this is 389 root 2 that means this much is 
389 over root 2, that means this much is 389, right? Um, so, yeah, so that will give us that. So this much is going to be 389, and this much, this is also going to be 389, right? And so our possible points, they are this point, and this point, and this point, and this point, right? These four um, points, they, they form a, a parallelogram, right? So the sum of x-coordinates, um, sum of x-coordinates are going to be 4 times the centroid, right? Centroid, centroid x-value, right? Centroid x-value, because there are 4 points, and so this is gonna... Yeah, so now we just have to find the centroid, right? And then since the centroid is equal distance away from this middle line and also equal distance away from this this DE, right? And so now we just have to find the intersection between BC and DE, right? And so the centroid, this is going to be the BC and DE intersection, right? So that means DE... DE, this is, yeah, this is y equals x minus 300, right? Because um, it's on 689, 389. Um, and so, yeah, and BC, this is just the x-axis. So BC, y equals 0. And so um, the the centroid is going to be 300, comma 2. And since 300 is the centroid's x value, so this is 4 times 300, 4 times 300 equals 1,200. So this is the answer, it's E. Number 20, corners are sliced off a unit cube so that the six faces each become regular octagons. What is the total volume of the removed tetrahedra? Okay, so if we draw a diagram of this, that's going, going to be like that. Um, and then we are going to have their corners sliced off, right? And then, so let's do that in red. So we're going to have this corner sliced off and that corner sliced, sliced off. And like this corner sliced off, this corner is also going to be sliced off, and so on, like that, right? Um, and then let's just do it all to the completion. Um, like that. And then lastly, we're going to have this far point cut off, right? And so if we just look at one one of these new sides, right, that, that, that is going to be a regular octagon. And so if you draw it, that's going to be something like this. Um, and that would have had these triangles um, at the beginning. Right, but now they are cut off, right? Um, and so here, he, here, um, since they are regular octagons, that means this length and this length is equal. So if this was one, this was one, that means this was root two, this was root two, and so therefore this is also root two, right? So this is root two and this is one, right? And so here, here our square side length, square side length is two plus root two, and our um, side length of of the tetrahedra uh, that's gonna be so from here um, this length that's going to be is going to be one right um, but then it's a unit cube right and so the actual so side length is one we're going to have to divide by two plus root two right so the actual actual um, triangle this this length this is going to be equal to 1 over 2 plus root 2. And so we want to the total volume of the removed tetrahedra. So we have 8 of those in total. Um, so we have 8 of those. So it's 8 times and then 1 of these tetrahedra, which is 1 over 3 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 plus root 2 cubed, right? This is equal to 4 over 3 times 1 over 20 plus 14 root 2. This much is equal to that. Um, all spread out. So if we divide by 2, then that's going to give us 2 over 3 times 1 over 10 plus 7 root 2, right? And that much that's going to be equal to equal to 10 minus 7 root 2 over 2. So these two cancel out. Um, and so our, our final answer will be 10 minus 7 root 2, that's from here, over 3, right? So this is our final answer. Um, so the answer is B.
Number 21, the sum of the zeros, the product of the zeros, and the sum of the coefficients of the function fx equals ax squared plus bx plus c are equal. Their common value must also be which of the following? Okay, so um, if the sum of the zeros, the product of the zeros, and the sum of the coefficients are all, all equal, then that just means that it's negative a, negative b over a equals a over c, equals c over a equals a plus b plus c, right? And so um, right away, these two give us that b equals negative c. B, yeah, that gives us that negative b equals c. So c equals negative b, and if we substitute that into here, this c, then this is going to be equal to a plus b minus b, which is equal to a, right? And so this whole thing, the common sum, yeah, the common value is equal to a, and a is the coefficient of, of x squared. That's just a, so the answer is a. Number 22, for each positive integer n, let, let Sn denote the sum of the digits of n. For how many values of n is n plus Sn plus Ssn equal to 2007? Since n cannot exceed a four-digit number, then the maximum value of n as a, as, as a four-digit number, that can be 9999. Uh, and so in that case, Sn is just going to be 36, right? Um, and so that just says tells us that n is a four-digit number, the max maximum of Sn. Um, this is 36 when it's 9999 um, and so so that means that n is going to be greater than 1971 at least right because 1971 is 2007 minus 36. we have two choices um, n is greater than or equal to 2000 right um, so this is going to be two zero zero something right um, so that's going to give us if we try we uh, we try 2001 that gives us 2133 yeah so that works um, and then 2002, that's just 4, 4, that doesn't work. The other values up to 2007, that's just um, all getting bigger, so that all doesn't work. So we have one value from here, it's when it's 2001, right? And if n is less than or equal to 9, yeah, sorry, if n is less than 2001, 2001, right? Um, then that is going to mean that n is, sorry, not 2001, 2000, 2000. Uh, right um so n is going to be 19 something something so let's call that 19 x y we have two choices here too um if x plus y is less than 10 or if x plus y is greater than 10 if x plus y is is less than 10 um then we are going to have 19 x y plus the sum of these which is 10 plus x plus y and the sum of that which is 1 plus x plus y 1 plus x plus y because x plus y is less than 10 this is going to be equal to 2007 right and so if we take out the 19 um, then we're, we're going to have 107 right and then x y that's just 10x plus y right 10x plus y um, and so if we um, solve that that's going to give us 12x plus 3y equals 96 so if we divide by 3 4x plus y equals 32, right? And so that gives us y equals 0. That gives us y equals 0, x equals 8, right? x is 8 and, and y is 0. So that will give us a value of 1980, right? So that's going to give us 1980. That's also possible, right? And lastly, if x plus y is less, yeah, sorry, if x plus y is, is greater than 10, right? Then it's going to be 19xy plus, plus 10 plus x plus y that's the same but then since x plus y is greater than 10 it's going to be 20 something right so that's going to be 2 2 plus and then the unit digit is going to be x plus y minus 10 x plus y minus 10 yeah so let's just separate these so 2 plus x plus y minus 10 and this is going going to be equal to yeah this is one this is 2007 and so same thing if, if we take out the 19 then that's going to give us 10 x plus y 10x plus y from here and then plus 10x plus y 10 plus x plus y plus this is x plus y minus 8 x plus y minus 8 this is equal to 107 right um, and so this is going, going to give us that 12x 12x plus 3y equals 105 so 4x plus y equals 35 since 4x plus y equals 35 we can have two possibilities y equals 7 and x equals 7 or or y equals 3 and x equals 8 and so if y is 7 and and x is 7 then that's going to give us a value of 1977 right so that's going to give us 1977 so so that's one more value 
and if y is 3 and x equals 8 to this one, that's going to give us 1983, right? So we have 1983, and so in total we have four values. So the answer is 4, it's D. Number 23, square ABCD has area 36 and AB is parallel to the x-axis. Vertices A, B, and C are on the graphs of x, y is are on the graphs of y equals log ax, y equals 2 log ax, and y equals 3 log ax, respectively. What is a? Okay, so as we all know, if we have a graph, then log a of x is going to be here, and then log and then 2 log ax is going to be greater, and 3 log a of x is going to be even greater than that, right? And so that means that we are going to have a square with a here, and b here, and c here, right? And so since we want a, then um, first of all, let's compare a and b, right? So this is a, this is b, and if we set the point b to be equal to m comma n, right, then a is going to be m plus 6 comma n, and c is going to be m comma n plus 6, because the area has 36 and it's a square, so that means that the side length is 6, right? And so I'm um, comparing a and b, comparing a and b, and that's going to give us 2 log a m is going to, going to be equal to n, right? So that means m equals a to the n over 2 power, Right, um, that's because if we take out two, that's gonna be two, and so if we log goes over there, then that's gonna be m equals a to the m over two power. Right, that's m over two power. M over two. Um, and then for a, then that's gonna be just log a or a to the m plus n. Sorry, m plus six. This is gonna be n, and so that means m plus six equals a to the nth power. That's not m power. That's the nth power. Right. Um. So that means that. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so since this squared becomes a n, that means this is equal to m squared, right? So m plus 6 equals m squared. That means m squared minus m minus 6 equals 0. Um, that means this is 1, 2, 1, negative 3, right? Then this gives us that m equals 3 or negative 2, right? Um, but, but then since m is a positive number, that means it can't be negative 2. That means m equals 3, right? So we have it that m equals 3. And the next, if we compare b and c, b and c, right? then that's going to give us that c is 3 log a of m. 3 log a of m is going to be n plus 6, and 2 log a of m is going to be n, right? And so this gives us that if we subtract these two, then that means log a of m equals 6. So m equals a to the 6th power, but then we just saw that m equals 3, right? So if we substitute n into 3, that means a equals um, the... Um, sixth root of three, and so this is going to be the answer. It's a. Number twenty-four. For each integer n is greater than one, let let f n be the number of solutions to the equation sine x equals sine n x on the interval zero comma pi. What is uh, sigma n is equal to two to the two thousand seven f of n? Okay, so um, so let's just first try some values. If n is equal to two, then that's going to give us um, this is pi. Right, so um, this is sine x and sine nx. That's going to be just like this. So, th so we're going to have one, two, three intersections. This is going to give us three, right? And so, if n is equal to three, we're going to have something like this, like that, right? So we're going to have one, two, three, four. That's going to give us four, right? Um, and then if n is four, then that's going to give us like that. And then we're going to have one, two, one, two. So this is going to give us five. And then if n is equal to 5, then we have this value, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. So we have 5, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, so um, I'll lean off that's 5, and if n is equal to 6, then we get um, this, yeah, then we get to this is the x onto pi, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that. And so that gives us 7 values, and then next is 8, and then so on, right? Um, and then if we just do a lot of this, then we can see that as, as it goes, we can see that fn, fn is mostly, mostly um, n plus 1, but when n equals the 4m plus 1 form, right, so so if n is in 4m plus 1 form, like 5 over there, um, that's going to be fn equals n, are going to have the list like 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9, plus all the way until 2008. And so this is going to be equal to um, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus all the way until 2008. So this is just a normal sequence minus um, minus this 1 and 2 that we tacked out to the front. So minus 1 plus 2. And then minus these extra values of 1, right? So from 5, this became 6. And so 9, 9 became 10 like that and so on. 
And so we have to take away those values. And so since that's just a one addition, that means we have to f just figure out the number of um, four and plus one things, right? And that is going to be 2006. Yeah, yeah. so that's gonna be the, the floor of 2006 over four. And it's 2006 because, yeah, so all the numbers from th three to 2008 has 2006 numbers, 2006 numbers, right? Um, and so this is going to be equal to this much is 2008 times 2009 over 2 and then minus this much is 3 right so minus 3 minus and, and this gives us 501 so this is equal to this much which is 2017 036 minus and this gives us 504 504 this equals 2015 no sorry 2013 sorry, one, six, five, three, two, right? And so five, three, two, this is our final answer, it's D. Last problem, call a set of integers spacey if it contains no more than one out of any three consecutive integers. How many subsets of one, two, three, all the way to 12, including the empty set are spacey? Okay, so um, our set of integers is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, right? If we look at the, so the subset, Subsets can have maximum of four numbers, right? So four terms, four terms. And this is because um, we have one and then, so I'm skipping the minimal number of times. That means we have one and four and seven and 10 and that's all we can get, right? So the maximum is four terms. And so for K terms, um, for K terms, K terms in the subset. So yeah, so if K terms are in the subset, um, subset, right? Um, that, then that means we need at least two times k minus one between because we're going to have k minus one spaces and then each space needs two to fill it, right? And so that gives us the number of unused integers, a number of unused integers. This is, the total is 12, so it's 12 minus, and then we use k terms for the subset and then we use two times k minus one for the in-between. So two times k minus one. So, so this is going to be equal to 14 minus 3k. And then next we're going to, going to put these into, put these into, into k plus 1 slots. And this k plus 1 is because if we have k numbers, then we have k plus 1 number of slots. Um, and so we can just make this into a summation, right? So the number of possibilities for k terms in the subset, this is going to be equal to, yeah, so that's going to be equal to this much plus k plus 1 slots, right? So it's 14 minus 3k plus k plus 1 slots, um, and then minus 1, right? And then this choose k, right? So this is going to be equal to 14 minus 2k choose k. And so if we um, just list our number of subsets, right? So if the subset has, subset has zero terms, right? Um, k equals zero. Um, then we have this, this is just the empty set, so that's just 14 choose 0, which is 1. If k is 1, then that gives us 12 choose 1, which is 12. Then we have 2, which is 10 choose 2. We have 3, which is 8 choose 3. 4, which is 6 choose 4, and then that's it because maximum is 4 terms. And so 10, 10 choose 2, that's, that, that's going to be 45. 8 choose 3, that's going to be 56. And 6 choose 4, this is equal to 6 choose 2, which is 15, right? Which is 15. Um, and so if we take all, all of these together, then that, yeah, and the sum of that is going to be 129, right? So this is the sum, which is 129, it's E. So um, that was it for the AMC 12A from the year 2007, and thank you for watching.